Hey guys, this is All About Mac 27, and today I have a review, an overview of the new iPhoto app for the iPhone 4 and 4S, as well as the iPad Touch and the new iPad that came out today. So basically, this is a really advanced version of your photos album in your iPhone that can crop and auto enhance things like that. So I just have a couple of pictures here. So what I'm going to do is just edit maybe one or two. So this is an Audi R8 I saw somewhere. So what we're going to do is go up to the edit right here. Now you have an array of options at the bottom where you can flag um, or give like a metal or whatever that is to that. So we can do that you, as well as auto enhance it, which is that one right there. So now you can also have another array of options where you can crop now all you have to do is go like this and move it around like that then at the bottom here you can see this little diagram that will rotate it so it really is getting to the advanced features of iPhoto that you will have on your computer I'm just gonna zoom out a little here now that's good so I'm just gonna click back there now we have another option and this is exposure so you're just gonna click on this and be able to go like this to uh, make it darker or lighter or however which way you want it you just play around with it this is the lightness just play around contrast you know you can basically do whatever you like to make your photos look pretty cool now this is the next one where you'll be able to increase the saturation or decrease it I'm just gonna leave it around the center and then now these three will increase the blues greens as well as yellows or whatever this color is in uh, in your photo so that will be cool also to make your uh, pictures feel more cold or however want you want it to be now this is another really cool feature that they added which is exclusive to the iOS devices in which uh, you'll have these little brushes here and a really cool feature that makes it really interactive uh, you can saturate desaturate light and darken as well as soft and sharpen red eye and repair so what I'm going to do is just lighten up this area a little bit right around the light and all you have to do is just go like that as you see only that area lightened up. Now I can go into saturate and there's nothing really to saturate but as you see as you keep on uh, moving around with your finger the areas of that picture will change uh, and you can do it as much as you want or as little as you want. So that's a really cool feature that makes it really interactive and it act and it really looks you know nice uh, a nice layout there now you also have the eraser and other features there so once you're done with all those you can additionally do effects this is also exclusive to the iOS devices I have not seen this in the actual desktop iPhoto and this will allow you to do different effects like Instagram so I'm gonna go into let's see vintage now this will bring up an option down below where you can do different options like this. That one looks pretty cool. I'm going to go with that one. Uh, and you can do things like that. They have so many options. That's really cool. Uh, I haven't seen that in any product that Apple has put out other than maybe, uh, you know, Aperture like that. But that costs so much money. Uh, this is just for your iOS devices. So once you're done editing your photo, it looks pretty cool. What you're going to do is go up to your export share and you can put it into many different things, including uh, you can pick, turn it into a slideshow, Twitter, Flickr, Facebook, all these different options. And additionally, a new one is journal. That's really cool. I'll get to that in a little bit. So I'm just going to do uh, camera roll selected and then saving to the camera roll. Now this uh, may take a couple seconds, but what really this app that they created is really nice that because you can use all these different features and it really has a nice layout and uh, UI to it. So the next thing I'm going to show you is the journal uh, in which I'm just going to do all so you can do, you can choose the different uh, borders and sort of themes, I guess. I'm going to go with this one. It looks pretty nice. And I'm just going to name it iPad for s some reason. Now we're going to go into create journal. Now it's going to add the journal. Basically, I would have had all my 
photos added beforehand and then it will create a really nice looking journal. You can look at some of the things on the Apple website which will give you examples but the journal feature is really nice and it also will look fantastic on the new iPad. With that huge display you'll be able to create really nice projects. I'm just going to cancel this for the uh, time. So basically this is a really really advanced app that only costs five dollars and I think any anyone who has an iPhone or an iPod Touch or something like that should get this app. So if you liked this, please subscribe to this channel. I will have coverage on the iPad 3. Uh, and please like, comment, and tell me what you think about this app and if you're going to get it. So thank you for watching and have a nice day.